Somewhere down there is the American Motel, where my parents stayed for years before my dad's curiosity got the better of him watching people walk back and forth on the switchback trails up here. He decided to find this very trail. This was the first trail he took. And so he uh, built up his stamina. He'd go about a quarter of the way up and a little further and a little further and eventually he was he could outwalk us outwalk us at 80 <laughs> he was hiking all over these hills and he loved it My dad too. Absolutely. Uh, he, he took on that role with absolutely no reservations and uh, has a great relationship. He taught me a lot of things. And just being a little bit fearless, uh, diving into projects, any project, whether or not you're turning the engine head off of a car or whatever, because you know obviously your dad was big into cars, especially Mustangs, and he helped me with mine. And he taught me a lot about, look, dive in, You'll figure it out. And uh, you know, he kind of gave me that confidence, let's just call it that, mm. to just do. You know, just, uh, yeah, I might not know what I'm doing exactly, but you know, you know, it'll turn out okay. He helped me a lot, too. So. He's a great guy. He's a friend and a father. really found our relationship in hiking, so that was a, a serious blessing when he took up hiking in these hills, because man, we, uh, we had a, some rough times in teenage years, which I think is normal father-son thing, but we just let it all go over the years, yeah. and we had a really good relationship hiking together and being together after that. Thing. Yeah, that's what you hang on to. Because all the other stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. He's missed. He's very missed. Coming up here really hits it home. Eventually, my dad made it to the top of this hike, which is where we are now, and uh, started bringing me up here, started bringing him up here, and from up here, right off behind us, you can see Taquitz Canyon with water running and a trail down there, and so he started getting interested in that. He started hiking around in there, and pretty soon he started hiking up and over the waterfall that's at the at the far end of that canyon, which you can't do at all now. And that was a rugged trail. That was like a goat trail. Which had the infamous... Pregnant lizard crawl is what my dad named this one little pass. You had to get down on your belly and, and crawl through this little crevice. Yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> it was terrifying. 
First of all, I couldn't believe your dad did it. I know. And then he took us on it. And then he just hiked all over these mountains and found trails that I'll never find again. Took me places I'll never find again. <laughs> For his 80th birthday, we took the Palms to Pines hike, but we took it the other way around. We did it the Pines to Palms. We went the other way. That was like a 15 mile rugged, rugged hike. In fact, he did it at 80. It was once again just proving it to us that, I mean, I mean, he was totally appreciative that you know I came out and that you came out and that we were doing it with him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I got that he was really like cool. You know, it meant a lot to him. Oh yeah, it did. But uh, you know, but, there, there was also that element of uh, this is what I can still do at 80, and I. Oh yeah. I still am in awe of it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, he kicked our butts that day. Mm -hmm. We were 46. Jeez. I mean, literally almost half. Yeah. 80 to 46. Yeah. So anyway, we brought him up here. This is him, most of him, in a in a hefty bag. The rest of him is where again? Well, my sister Elizabeth took some of him to uh, Caney Head Church in Georgia. Makes sense. The area he's from, and. We've got a gravestone there with all our names on it. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, so I have a headstone. But anyway, she sprinkled some of it there. She sprinkled some of it at the graveyard where my mom is. Which is, yeah, okay. But he always said when he was out here doing those crazy hikes with all, lots of exposure, very narrow trails. They weren't even trails. They, they were literally goat trails, some of them. How many times did we talk about way we thought Norm was going to die. He, he yeah. was going to be happy, but it was going to be off of the, I thought it was going to be off the edge of one of these cliffs, to be honest with you. Yep, and he used to joke about it and mm -hmm. say, you know, don't even send the rescue after right. me. Just throw a bouquet of flowers over and well, say hello to me when you hike by. Well, we've got the spot now to we, know. We've got the spot. <laughs> we'll know where he's at. And uh, we will come back. Ha, 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 ha. 